So one of the questions I get a lot is, how do you organize your accessories? And that question has kind of been spurred on because um, I love to share what I'm wearing on Instagram or just different accessories, especially while, while I'm out shopping. I love to share, you know, good finds. And also because of the Refashion Your Life series, just getting to see a little bit more of my wardrobe. So I had shared um, a picture of what one of my jewelry organizers had looked like, and that's kind of what has spurred on this video. I thought video format would be a fun way to show you. As you can see behind me, um, this is what I call my necklace wall, I guess. I don't really have a name for it, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, this is behind our master bedroom door, which is usually an unutilized space. This would be great in a closet. We just currently don't have a closet that's big enough for it to go in. But the reason why I do it this way is because if I can't see it, I don't wear it. And the same goes for the clothes in my closet. If I can't see what my options are, then um, the season ends up going past and I find clothes that I didn't wear and I'm not really utilizing all of my wardrobe. So this is a great way for me to be able to see what I've got and all of my options and then um, I'm able to wear my pieces. And that is one thing I do want to bring up is that I wear all of these pieces. I know it looks like a lot, but a lot of these were given to me or I got for really a great deal because that's how I love to shop. I love to shop sales and clearance. So I don't ever spend a lot on my accessories. You can see that there is a lot of silver and gold pieces. Um, there's ones that are dressy, ones that are casual, long, short, chunky, and then I've got my fun colorful pieces mixed in. As well, I also have some bracelets on this side. If you're looking to add pieces to your accessories to kind of dress up like this is just my basic tee, then um, look at what you have and decide what you need. Like I've got a red one and this one's kind of short so I might buy a red one that maybe hits me longer or is thinner, a different type of a style, but I have a red one so I'm not like lacking that. So when I go out accessory shopping, I'm not just grabbing just to add more and more and more. I'm looking for pieces that I need. Do I need a type of gold earring, one that's casual, one that's dressy? So when you're shopping around, just think about what you need. The other way I like to organize um, my smaller pieces like rings and earrings is in these nice clear um, organizers. And I just, I think I got this one at Walmart. You can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Joann's, they are for bead organization. And when I had gotten these, I thought, oh, they'll be so fun if I punch punch some cute fabric on the top and whatnot. And then I thought, wait, then I won't be able to see what I have. They're not maybe the prettiest, but they sit on top of my dresser. I have two, but they are clear and I can look in and I can just start figuring out what I want to wear. I can see what I have, which again goes the same way with my necklaces. Um, I've got all my different rings, I have silver, colors, gold, different pendants, and then different bracelets. And then in this other one, I've got earrings and pendants, and then pieces for the DIY Styled by Tori line, which if you follow me on Instagram, you know I wear a lot of that one. It's just a super easy way. They come with these little compartments, and you can make them big and small and I am able to see what I have. Super easy way to accessorize and organize your jewelry. Don't forget if you can't see it that you won't wear it. So I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you want to know how I made my board to hold all of my necklaces, well I'll be sharing a tutorial this week also. And of course I made it for a bargain and it's super easy too. So stick around for that.